Okay, we are going live and uh, excited about it. We are very, very, we have seven people uh, already checked in early. It usually takes them about 15 minutes. Good to see everybody. It's good to have everybody on the, on the, uh, on the live show. And uh, I'm going to move over here real quick. I just want to make sure everything's going. Heaven forbid, let me turn off that phone. Because that thing will just absolutely get on your nerves. So, uh, somebody saying they're coming to the live show. Awesome. <laughs> uh, but it's great to see everybody. Got some new lower thirds tonight. We are, we are, uh, uh, high class. <laughs> we are excited. We are excited that we're live. I got got people coming into the room. Got everything happening. Let's see. Let me turn that on. <coughs> you got your little button there going on. You should be able to see me live, and uh, uh, hopefully everything is happening okay here. Let me. I'm going to move this screen over, and I'm going to minimize it. Oops. Man, let me turn that speaker down. I do, you know I do that every single time, brother. There we go. I got that turned down. I'm gonna turn this off, and I'm gonna turn uh, this off right here. And we should be rocking and rolling. I'm gonna move this over here. We've got a new question and answer box. Um, that's pretty cool. Been working on it, man. It's uh, this is the third webinar system I've used, and uh, it's been crazy. The system I was using, as you all know, we had trouble with, and finally got tired of dealing with the uh, uh, programmers. I'm doing three things here, just trying to get set up for the uh, nine o'clock hour. And uh, but got tired of dealing with the programmers, man. It just you know you you get just go back and forth and back and forth, and that stuff gets old quick. And uh, so I said, well, you know what? I'm not going to deal with you anymore. I am going to make it happen on my own. And uh, so we did. And this should be rolling over live here very soon. I think at nine o'clock. Should just switch right over. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Because we are showing live and we have clicked that. Technology is great until you have to use it. That's my motto. Technology is awesome until you have to use it. You may be looking at the countdown page right now, the registration page. Let's see if we can get this sucker going live here. As always, it is good to see everyone. Have everyone in on the call. Have everyone available to see the show. It's the first few minutes. It's always the kicker. But we got a lot of great stuff to talk about tonight. Have had a great reaction to the show. I mean, just an absolute great reaction to the show. And uh, it's been a pleasure uh, being a part of the show and doing the things that we do and uh, having the opportunity to share the things with you we've shared. We've had great response from our viewers and people that have watched and, and so forth. So uh, it's just absolutely awesome. And we're excited about it. And we should be going live in just about a minute. And we should be rocking and rolling and introducing ourselves to everyone who is on. This system that I'm using automatically rolls over when you're live and goes live at the correct time. Supposed to. I hope it does. Uh, we're going to see here in just a moment if it does. And uh, I'll be anxious to uh, 
to see you guys and, and talk to you and chat with you. And uh, it's nine o'clock, so let's see if it rolls over. And I can't get it to roll over. Don't know about that. Let me go over here and do this. You ever get tired of just getting being sick and tired of sick and tired? <laughs> you ever get tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired? It's always something. And uh, let's see here. I'm gonna pull it up over here. And I cannot get it to go live. If you've got a chat box there, if you can see the chat box and uh, you're talking and you you have questions, there's a chat box there. If you're seeing me live, go to the chat box and just type, yes, I'm seeing you live. Because I can see all the people that are in the Hangout. And... Uh, but I cannot see the hangout for some reason. So let me do this. Let me go to the live page. Let me go preview the live page. And I can see myself in the hangout there. So hopefully you're seeing the same thing. Hopefully it's live and you're seeing me and uh, we're able to make this happen tonight. Uh, but there is a chat box. There's a chat box right underneath the uh, webinar there. It says webinar information just to the right is a chat box. If you're seeing me live right now, go to that chat box and type, yes, Carrie, we see you live. We see you on the air, and uh, we're excited to be here. And if I can, if you do that, I will be able to see your questions. And here in a little bit, I'm going to answer your questions. And someone said, hi, Carrie. Who, who is it that says, hi, Carrie? Who is this? See, I can type back with this system here. And uh, absolutely. And uh, we'll see if they can see that. We're testing our system here for just a few minutes. And uh, I'm, I'm excited that that's working. I can see that the uh, webinar is running. And you can see that we've got our new lower third there. And if you have not signed up yet for the uh, registration for the training yet for Saturday, uh, that link will be going out very soon. And uh, go to kerrymiller.tv. Live webinar registration is Carrie. And go there and sign up. Uh, you're going to be... Uh, thankful that you did you'll be glad that you did and uh, i'll be happy to see you on saturday uh things on saturday and uh, we're gonna have an opportunity to spend some time together uh, teach you some things and talk about branding you know branding is a very 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 important thing in our businesses and we're going to talk about some more branding tonight i know we had some great questions the other night about branding and going out and sharing things and working with people and talking to people and and uh, making sure that people know who we are, what we are, and what we're about. And that's what we want to make sure in these next couple of weeks that you understand. You know, uh, people are so afraid of the economy. And Monday night, I don't know if you were here Monday night, but someone asked the question about the stock market. And I said, you know, it's going to take a huge swing. It's going to make some uh, adjustments. Uh, it's so overbought. The bubble's about to burst. It's going to happen. There's nothing you can do about that. But I said on Monday, I said, it will make a correction. It's going to take a huge drop, and it's going to come right back up. And sure enough, over the last couple of days, it's had a 1,000-point swing. Is that going to happen again? Absolutely. The fundamentals are all there that we're going to make these adjustments. We're going to make these corrections. But what is always going to happen is this. The market's always going to go up, okay? Those who panic are the ones that get hurt. Just like in business. If you panic in business, you're going to get hurt. So don't panic. Don't worry about it. Quit quit losing sleep over it and quit knowing and thinking that, that the world's coming to an end. You know, the world's going to come to an end eventually anyway. So we don't need to worry about that anymore. It's going to happen, okay? I can promise you, it's going to happen. Uh, you need a second screen to see the hangout as we do. I see you. 
Yeah, I've got it now. Mine, it just took mine was cashed up, and uh, this is Kathy Pop, and it, it doesn't show our name. Uh, no, I, I can't see your name. So I don't know why it's not showing your name. I know you typed that in there, but um, it's it's good to see you, Kathy. We got about, uh, let me see here. Gosh, we got 47 people in right now, according to the uh, 40, 51 people now watching this show. Uh, we've had a great crowd every night. Do me a favor. Up at the top there, you can see a like button, okay? Like our page and say something about us and send that out to your Facebook group right now. And uh, there's a tweet button right next to that. How about clicking on that tweet button and uh, tweeting that and uh, say, hey man, Carrie's live, come on and hang out with him. We're gonna be here again tomorrow night and uh, I always enjoy it, but back to the markets and what I was talking about. And I th thank you, Kathy, for testing that system out for me. It's working out great. And uh, I appreciate that very much. But the markets are gonna correct. There's nothing you can do about it. It's going to happen. It's it's always going to happen. As long as we live, it's going to happen. So, you know, quit worrying about whether or not the market's going to correct or whether it's not going to correct. We live in a global economy today. The global world is what controls our markets. It's not really what's happening in the United States. Okay? Everything around the world, Greece controls our markets. China controls our markets. You know, China's getting ready to announce that the GDP is down, okay? Their gross domestic product is going to be down, and they're and they're making for those adjustments. Everything else is controlling what's going on right now. So don't worry about here. This is what you've got to worry about in the U.S. Whether or not you are doing everything you can, no matter what your business is, I don't care if it's selling pencils to a high school student. You've got to make sure that the high school student knows that you are there. Without question. If they don't know you're there, then nobody's going to know you're there. So you've got to make sure, okay, that they know you are there and that everything is going just as it is planned and everything is happening just like it's supposed to happen. If you don't worry about yourself and marketing yourself, no one else is. No one else cares. If you're on here and you have a brick and mortar business, and we talked about this the other night, and I'm going to keep pounding it because I want you to understand what I'm saying. I want you to uh, realize that you have got to do everything you can to market your business. We live in a technological world. I know that uh, iPhone, that Apple's having a big conference. I think it's September the 9th. I'm sure they're going to be announcing all the new iPhones and all the new gadgets and stuff that are coming out. Technology is controlling the world. You know what's happening right now in the marketplace? People don't know where to go. I can tell you this. If you go into the tech stocks, if you go out there and you sink yourself into the good tech stocks and sit on them and don't move, don't budge, ride the way, let everything else happen around you, you're going to be fine. I mean, look at Tesla. And you're probably saying, well, Tesla is a car company. They're not. Tesla is a technology company. Tesla is leading the way for technology in the auto industry today. Okay. Tesla's stock is through the roof. I mean, they took a bounce today that was phenomenal. Okay. So watch the tech world. That's where everything's happening. And these little devices right here. Okay. This is where everything is happening. Anything that has to do with mobility. Now, you know, it's it's funny. I saw a commercial today, and it was talking about the mobile phone. You know, this phone isn't mobile. This phone isn't mobile. If I set that phone down and leave, it's not going anywhere. If 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 I walk out of here and don't come back for six years, this phone is still going to be sitting right here. We are the ones that are mobile. Okay. And what people have done is, is they've created technology that we take with us, that we carry with us. We're the mobile ones, okay? So what you need to make sure is, is that when you're looking at the markets and if you're wanting to invest in the markets, I'm not a market investor. I don't watch the markets, could care less, okay? Uh, I, used to, I used to trade some commodities and, I, and I've traded, uh, the Forex and I've done those kind of things and, and I've bought and sold stock. 
uh, bought some uh, Sara Lee stock years and years and years ago. Uh, made a lot of money with Sara Lee, Sara Lee and I sold it. Uh, I'm just not one of those that wants to sit in the stock market. I like putting my money into other things. I like real estate. I like property. Uh, I like those kind of things. But I do know this about the markets. The markets are going to correct. They're going to come around. They're going to go down. They're going to go up. And all that stuff is going to happen. And there's nothing you can do about it. You know, you don't control it. First off, unless you own millions and millions of shares of things, you're, you're, you, you're sitting there controlling that stock. If, if you're just a, a, a small investor, you're going to have to ride the wave anyway, because the big boys are the ones that control the market. That's just the way it is. You know, you can't change that. Nothing changes that. So you get in for the long term, you ride it for five, 10 years, however long you're going to ride it until you retire. You sell out, okay? Hold on to your stocks for 20 years. Buy low, the market's going to keep going up. Quit worrying about it. There's a lot more things in this world that are happening that we need to worry about other than the stock market. You know, whether or not you can go to the mall without getting blown up. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, that's, I, I, I say that kind of, kind of laughingly, but it's so true. I mean, if you don't think for a second, I, I was uh, reading an article today where Israel, I mean, every sense that all the funds have been released to Iran, the attacks on Israel has been heavier and heavier. Why? Because now they can fund the terrorists. We got a lot more to worry about than the stock market right now. A whole lot more to worry about. Our economy is stable. I know people say, oh, the dollar, the dollar, the dollar. Gold, 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 gold. Everything's the only thing you really need to worry about is your business. If you worry about your business and take care of your business, everything will be fine. Everything will happen and everything will work perfectly. Let me put on my crooked glasses. I hope my, I think my glasses are supposed to be here next Tuesday. Uh, so worry about that. Worry about your business. What can you guys are that are in there right now? And uh, uh, wow, we got 41 on the webinar. Uh, you guys that are in there right now, okay, uh, that are rocking and rolling and in the webinar. Uh, how about just giving me a shout out and tell me what you do. Tell me what business you're in. Uh, tell me what uh, you're here for. And kind of let's, let's chat just a little bit. You know, we haven't chatted in a couple of days. Uh, we chatted pretty good on the first one. We had some, some interaction on the second one. Let me move over here to the question and answer system here. Uh, mobile and live streaming video are the hottest growing trends. Absolutely. Mobile and live streaming video. You know, you think about this, and I, I can guarantee you out of the people that are in here watching me right now, there are people sitting on their front porch on this beautiful Thursday afternoon watching me on their mobile device because I'm streaming this through Google Hangouts, through YouTube, okay? And you can sit right on your phone and sit on your porch and watch and listen to me chat. Mobile and live streaming video are where it's at. You know, I don't know how many of you are, are in the mobile industry. I'm in the mobile industry. That's what I do. Uh, I buy, I, I build mobile apps uh, and I'm very good at it, I must say. And uh, I love building mobile apps. Matter of fact, if you ever want to talk about mobile apps and you, and you want to see me train, on Wednesday nights, I didn't do this show last night because I was in another show. Uh, you can go to instant app with slash live and you can sign up for our Wednesday night mobile training and our Wednesday night mobile training is awesome. It's great. I love it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, last night we talked about some YouTube. As a matter of fact, somebody was talking about video last night. We talked about YouTube and, uh, how YouTube can help your business, how you can grow your business locally and with SEO and, and use YouTube. So come out and visit me on Wednesday nights. Wednesday night, I'm at instantappwizard.com forward slash live. You can register there. And it's a hangout, just like this is a hangout. And you can you can come in and visit with me. And we, we, we train. And we have a ton of people that come and visit. And uh, we train a lot of our resellers all around the country. Uh, if you're interested in building mobile apps, go to instantappwizard.com. And uh, what a great platform. I've been with that company since for th about three and a half years now. Uh, was the first reseller in the company. 
and uh, started building mobile apps through that platform. Been, been building mobile apps ever since, and uh, I love it. There's nothing I don't love about Instant App Wizard. I mean, it's one of the best products in the world. Uh, it's a great lead generation product. It's a great uh, reach out and touch your customer product. It's got a marketing platform to it. There's just all kind of things that are involved with Instant App Wizard. And come out and visit on Wednesday nights, and I'd love to teach you and show you. And if you have any questions, you can ask questions live just like you can here. So uh, if you're interested in that, that's something you'd like to add to your repertoire, come on out and, uh, and visit me at Instant App Wizard on Wednesday nights. But what we want to do tonight is, is we want to talk about you. And we, we, we want to talk about branding and we want to talk about those things that uh, will help take your business to the next level. Because really that's what's important, okay? Uh, let's see, just so you know, I cannot respond to your reply. I'll send you a screenshot of it to your email. Kathy shared on Facebook or Twitter. I am on, I'm an online business coach and consultant. I help business owners overcome their tech challenges that are preventing them. Um, and it cut off there. So send the rest of that reply. Send the rest of that. And uh, But there's a lot of business coaches and, and, and a lot of people that are coming to this show. And, and I really appreciate you folks. You've got a tough job. I know how hard it is to go out and consult a small to medium business, and, and you're trying to share with them and teach them how to grow their business and make their business work. It's tough. It's really tough. And, and what makes it tough is, is business owners kind of have a one-track mind. And what they think about is one thing. They think about this. I opened my store at nine. I didn't have any sales today. What's going on? It must be the economy. It must be this. And they sit there and they dwell on that all day. You know what? On the corner of Live Oak and Highway 50 as I drive through my hometown, every day there's a guy there that flips a sign for pizzas usually 16, 17, 18 years old. And he sits there and he flips that sign and he's letting everybody know because Domino's kind of sits back. He lets everybody know that Domino's Pizza is sitting there. Now, they send him out there when business is slow. When business isn't slow, he gets in his car and he goes and delivers pizzas. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. If you have to get out of your office or if you have to get out of your brick and mortar business or whatever you got to do, if you got to go stand on your head and pass out business cards, that's what you need to do. You have to do whatever it takes to make sure that your business stays viable and people are there when the doors are open and they're still there when you're ready to lock up at night. The only way that happens is, is if you are continually talking to more and more people. You cannot sit in that store from eight to five. You are much better off hiring somebody for eight or nine dollars an hour to sit there for you while you go out and you talk to every single person in that town so that they know that you're there. I, I, I don't know if any of you are a big fan of John McCain. Doesn't really matter. Okay. His story of how he got elected to the Senate is phenomenal when he was running for senate in arizona okay running for office he literally walked door to door to door i watched an interview with he and his wife and he had some shoes that he showed where literally he walked so much he burnt the soles off of his shoes and burned holes through them he won and he won big why because people knew who he was. You have to do the same thing. You can't sit back and not make it happen. You have to go out and you have to do the things that you've got to do to make it happen. And if you're not willing to do that, you're in business for the wrong reason anyway. I mean, business is, it just doesn't happen. You've got to work hard and you've got to, you've got to do everything you can to make your business go. 
And if you're not willing to do that and you think that you can go open that door and uh, oops, laugh out loud, I help them overcome their tech challenges so they can build an amazing online presence and stand out as an expert in their field. Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> and, and that's awesome. And, and that's also what I do. You know, Kathy and I are really on the same playing field. And we're both there to help clients and help businesses. Businesses just like yours, okay? And Kathy, while we're sitting here and you're, you're chatting and sharing this information with me, why don't you share some things that you do with your customers? And I'll share that with our audience. Share some things that you do for your customers that help them, that help them become better at what they do, that help them to gain more business. And if, if you don't mind, and we'll share that openly here and we'll get some interaction to it. What's important is this. You have to make it happen. If you're not willing to make it happen, nobody else is going to make it happen for you. You got to think out of the box. I, mean, I, I can guarantee you everybody in here has heard that term. I use it all the time. Not only do I think out of the box, I work out of the box. I, I don't do anything that's normal. Nothing. Zero. Nada. Okay. Uh, tonight, I, I'm on the road. Okay. Uh, found a black, a black background. Uh, the lighting's a little bit different. The camera's set up a little bit different. I had to make shift to set my camera up. Uh, and I, 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 had to, uh, I carry my microphone everywhere I go. No matter what I do, I carry my microphone just in case I do get stuck out. Uh, I left my hard drive at the house. I left some of my stuff at the house. But I have my microphone and I always carry my camera. So what's important is this, okay? What's important is this. Every time you leave that house, you have to be prepared to do business. You have to be prepared to show people who you are. You have to brand yourself and you have to make it happen. If you don't, then nobody's going to know who you are. Nobody's going to know what business you're in. And it's really not going to matter, right? I mean, it's really, really, really not going to matter at the end of the day if you can't do that or if you don't do that. So number one, when you wake up tomorrow and you're sitting in your shop and you're seeing all those people pass by your door and you sit there and think to yourself, oh my gosh, I wish they would come in here. <laughs> I, 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 I wish those people would, 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 would walk in that door. I, I wish those people would come see me. I wish they'd come buy something for me. Get off your butt and walk out the door and go out there and start talking to them and start introducing yourself to them and let them know what you have in your shop. Wouldn't it be nice to walk out there and you had your phone with you and you had your mobile business card on your phone, your digital business card on your phone and, and you walked up to somebody and you said, hey, uh, uh, I'm gonna text you real quick. And I'm going to send you my, my, my mobile business card. And I want you to do me a favor. In that mobile business card is a coupon. And I want to make sure that that coupon is used today. So I'm going to send you this. And for doing that, and this is my, this is my app, okay? This is my app right here. Let me make sure you can see that. That's my, that's my mobile business card. Okay, and I'm going to send that to that person and I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to send that to you. And for you getting that today, when you walk in my store, I'm going to give you 10% off. Do you not think you could sit out there? I don't care what you're selling. For 10% off, people are going to walk in to your store. It's, it's going to happen. You know, it's going to happen. So use your digital business cards. If you have traditional business cards and you don't have a digital business card, pass out those digital business cards. I mean, your, your, your paper business cards. If you don't have a digital business card and you want a digital business card, then give me a call and I'll be more than happy or email me at uh, support at carrymiller.tv and I'll be more than happy to build you a digital business card. Okay. But, and, and, and not only that, you can share this with the world. You know, it's got click to call on it. I mean, they can reach you right from their phone, okay? It's got, they can email you right from your phone. They can share via Facebook right from their phone on their timeline, okay? 
They, they can do all kinds of things, some things that you can't do with a standard business card. So if you're out there and you've got a business, you've got to join the tech world. You've got to. You gotta you gotta have technology. It's kind of like Kathy uh, Pop said earlier. You know, she teaches people how to use technology to enhance their business. She teaches people how to use technology to 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 make things happen. Okay, and, and if you're not willing to do that, okay, then guess what? Uh, man, we've got a full house tonight. Thank everybody for coming. Thank you so much for coming tonight. I, I love when we have a full house. And uh, but you've got to be like Kathy. You've got to get in the tech world. You know, you you've got to. And if you're not willing to do that, then guess what? You're going to lose out. It's just the way it is. Google came out. I think it was last April or May. Okay, and Google said, "Hey, everybody's going to be mobile, whether you like it or not. If you're not mobile ready, guess what's going to happen? You're not going to be indexed." Even some of the biggest companies thought, oh, they're just saying that. That's not going to happen. And then they woke up. And lo and behold, that first page ranking that they paid millions of dollars for, for that high dollar niche that they're in, was gone. Why? Because they weren't mobile. So you've got to stay up with technology today. So number one, you got to make it happen. Number one, you've got to be out there and you've got to brand yourself and you've got to brand your business. No matter what your brand is, okay, people have to know who you are. Hey, my name is Kerry Miller. I'm with Get Digi Mobile Solutions. I do digital business cards. Here's my card. Can I send this to you real quick? Absolutely. Let me punch your number in. I send them my card. Now they've got their card on my phone. Do you not think they may not remember Carrie Miller, but every time they see me, they know I'm gonna I'm that get digi guy. Okay, they know that I build digital business cards. They know that's what I do. They know that I can consult them and help them in that digital world. All right, just like Kathy, I I, I just read her resume to you. You know she's a marketing consultant that she can help take you to the next level in that mobile and, and, and uh, uh, technological world. And there are great people out there that can help you do that. And I'm gonna tell you, you know, this is where people make a huge mistake. They're afraid to spend a little money to make a lot of money. And what happens is they say, oh my gosh, man, I, I've, got to, I, I've got to do this and I have to do that. And, and man, it's gonna cost me a thousand dollars, oh my gosh. I, you know, we'll go blow a thousand dollars, but we're not willing to spend a thousand dollars on our own business to help get it jump started. It just doesn't make sense to me. We'll spend a thousand dollars on a vacation while our, the doors on our business is about to shut down because, because in our minds, the doors of the business is about to shut down. So we better take a vacation while we can. That doesn't make sense to me. First and foremost, your number one priority should be your family, okay? That should be your number one priority. is your faith, your family, and then you, and then your business, all right? But without your business, everything else isn't going to be sustainable because you have to have that income coming in, so you have to make a decision. Either I'm going to get out of business for myself and go work a J-O-B, and if you think that and that's the, way, that's the direction you want to go, bad oh bad, what are you thinking? Why don't you just work and make your business happen, okay? Why don't you hire somebody like a Kathy or somebody like a Carrie that can come in and change your business forever? And all it takes is a little bit of tweaking. All it takes is a few things to get you where you need to go. You know, maybe it, maybe that maybe that digital business card or, or maybe that website or, or maybe those kind of things or, or maybe some specialized training. Let me, uh, let me put this up here real quick. I've got a special webinar on Saturday, okay? And if you have not registered yet, go to kerrymiller.tv and register. I'm gonna teach you something so, I'm gonna teach you something so off the wall that is so simple that it's gonna blow your mind. I'm gonna show you how you can increase your revenues simply by using this <laughs> simply by using this 
you're going to learn how to increase your revenues simply by using this. And I know that's hard to believe. And you're saying, well, Carrie, you're, you're, you're crackers, dude. <laughs> There's no way that's going to happen. You got to do more than use this. Yeah, you're going to have to do a couple of things, but everything that I'm going to teach you is going to come from right here. And you know what's even more amazing? It's already there. It's already there. So, so if you haven't signed up yet, sign up for the, the webinar. There's two of them, and the, the links for the sites are going out today. It's uh, carriemiller.tv, and you're going to get a pre-registration email, and sometime tonight, you're going to get a link, okay, or first thing in the morning when you wake up, depending on what time you go to bed, and you're going to be able to register for those Saturday webinars. Both webinars are the same. One's at, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and one's at 8 o'clock at night. That way, those that want to go do something during the day, they can. If you're sitting at home doing nothing, then watch the 2 o'clock and the 8 o'clock will be, be there if you want to watch it again. But you got to get out of the box. If you're not willing to get out of the box and do the things that you have to do to grow your business, then it's going to continue to do just this. And you know, then it starts doing this. And that's not what we want. We want it to go like this. And then when you start tweaking and doing the things you got to do, it starts going like this. And next day, you know, it's going like this. And I mean, you know, and, and that's the way business works. If you work it, if you work it, if you're willing to do that, okay? If you're willing to do that. I want to make sure if I don't do anything else in these calls over the next, and, and next week, uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of trainings. So next week, we will only have uh, one night of uh, CarrieMiller.tv. I mean, I'm sorry, Ask a Millionaire. And uh, we may have two nights, depending on what the schedule is. I'm waiting on the, to, just to see how the schedule pans out. And I will know more come uh, tomorrow, okay? Um, but you want to make sure that uh, everything you do is about your business. So uh, I, guess, I think that might have been Kathy. Uh, I walked it. Let, let, me, let me read what she's wrote here. I helped them build their website's marketing plan. I walked into the tech part. I installed and configured the WordPress sites and got them to the day-to-day -day task. I'm good at problem solving and thinking out of the box. So we brainstormed some unique ways to promote. promo. Uh, promo. Uh, it can be a full-time job just keeping up with all the changes. I spend several hundred dollars on training each month. Absolutely. And, and let me tell you something. And I want you to, I want you to glean something from what, what she wrote here. She stays on top of her on top of her industry and she spends money to make sure that she's trained on the things that she needs to do. So that she can teach her people the same thing. Now, don't you think it's important that you continue to educate yourself? That you continue to do the things that you need to do to stay ahead of the curve? We have a station here in, in the town where I live, and it's a station out in the middle of nowhere. They have the cheapest gas in town, always. You know what the owner does every morning before he comes to work? He drives every station in this town, and he drops his fuel about two or three cents. He also probably pumps more gas than anybody in this town. And you're probably spending more than two or three cents a gallon just to get to his station. But everybody knows psychologically that he's got the cheapest gas in town. Now, you know what everybody else is doing? They're depending on the big oil company that owns their station to control what they do. He's an independent. So he makes sure that he goes out and he's watching what all the big boys are doing. He gets, gets their gas prices and he gets all the averages and he takes the lowest price and he goes back to his station and he'll drop his two or three cents. He probably pumps more volume and fuel than anybody in this town. Isn't that amazing? What simply driving around can do for you? Now, he may not be making a lot of money on gas, but guess what people are doing also? Guess what else they're doing when they go to his store? Anybody got an idea?
Anybody got an idea of what they're doing? They're, oh, I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here asking a question, waiting on somebody to say something back to me. They're going in and they're buying, they're going in and buying a candy bar. They're going in and buying high margin items because they are there. He sells sandwiches and hot bed at lunch. So trust me, it's worth him losing two or three cents a gallon to drive them into that parking lot to get everything else. And all he simply does is leaves the house a little bit early and makes that drive to check on all the fuel prices and see who's the lowest and he'll drop his prices right at opening bell <laughs> you know right when everybody else is getting up and going to work and, and and they drive by there and they see those gas prices and guess what they're stopping in and everybody know he has the lowest prices in town why because he made it happen he made it happen and if you're not willing to do that then you're in a business for the wrong reason you don't need to be in business at all, really. If you're not willing to make it happen and do what you got to do to grow your business, you really need to find something else to do. Everybody can see my Twitter on the uh, on the screen right now. Everybody go to Twitter right now and follow me at Carrie Miller TV. Go to Twitter and follow me at Carrie Miller TV. I'm not uh, uh, doing the Sami class tonight with uh, doo -doo 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 Periscope because uh, I'm limited with uh, the tools I have with me tonight. But I normally simulcast on Periscope. And if you follow me at Twitter, and I do things on Periscope that I don't normally do during the Hangouts. So you can catch me doing some Periscopes and doing some things. So follow me at Carrie Miller TV at Twitter, and uh, you can catch my Periscopes. And uh, they're usually short, brief uh, business talks and, and ideas and concepts uh, that I share with people. So, so go to Twitter at CarrieMiller.tv and follow me. And also go to Facebook at Carrie Miller TV and uh, like me and uh, make sure you turn on your notifications so you can get uh, get the notifications when things are happening like these hangouts and, and, and our programs that we do our Wednesday night trainings on mobile marketing and our special webinars that we do on the weekends so make sure that you follow me and like me on those two things Twitter you can go to Instagram you can follow me at Instagram at what Carrie Miller TV Okay, you can go to Lincoln and you can follow me and find me at Lincoln and at Carrie Miller TV. Everything I do is branded to what? One thing, at Carrie Miller TV. You need to do the same thing with your business. And that's the reason I brought this up at this point. If you don't have a Facebook fan page, you need to get one. You need to get one quick and you need to name it, not some off the wall name that has nothing to do with your business at all. If your business is called Jason's Barbershop in Commerce, Texas, then it needs to be Jason's Barbershop in Commerce, Texas. It doesn't need to be Jason's Specialty Barber on the corner of, it needs to be Jason's Barbershop, Commerce, Texas, because that's what people are gonna follow. If you get, get a Twitter account, it needs to be the same name as the Facebook account. If you get an Instagram account, it needs to be the same thing. If, if every social media you get do, it needs to be named the same thing. That's part of your brand, okay? So, so first off, is getting off your butt and doing something, okay? Getting off your butt and doing something. Secondly, you've got to get tech savvy, and you got to enter the tech world when it comes to mobile. If you're not mobile ready, if you're not mobile capable, if you're not, if you don't have the things that you need to get mobile, then you're in trouble. You've got to make that happen. I don't care if you're a network marketer, multi-level marketer, on a dress shop, uh, on a smoke shop, on a tow service, on a lawn service. If you go out and trim people's roses every year, or if you're a gutter cleaner and go out and get clean gutters in the fall, you need to be mobile ready, okay? And what do you do? You get off your butt and you go out and start collecting leads via your mobile site. You start collecting leads and start building that up. So you've got your off your butt syndrome is gone. Now you're tech savvy and you got your mobile devices and you're out collecting leads and you're out building your database and you're out telling people who you are. You're out branding yourself and you're out branding your business. Okay. Thirdly, you got to get social. If you want to brand yourself, you got to get social. Now, listen, guys. <laughs> This drives me crazy. I'm going to see if I can pull this up. Hang on just one second. Give me just one second here because I have got to. Uh, 
I got to show you here real quick. And I'm going to show you my Facebook page. Let me pull her up here. A little bit slow, using a little bit of bandwidth. But you got to be social, okay? And you got to get social, and you get social quick. You got to get your Facebook fan page. Number one, you got to get your Facebook fan, fan page. All right? And get, if you don't know how to build it, get someone to build it. All right? You find people like, like me, okay? Or you find, and, and you're, you find people like Kathy and any of the other people that are on here right now, okay? You, you find them and you let them help you do what you got to do. All right? This is starting to load. Now, let me, let me just bring this up here real quick. Let me come over here to screen share because I want to share this with you. I will show this to you. And that should populate and you should be able to see it. Okay. That's, that's my Carrie Miller TV page. Okay. And it says up here, the ultimate training center for entrepreneurs, <coughs> Carrie Miller TV. It's got the little TV right here. And what do you see in the B? You don't see a cornfield in a corn maze. Okay, or some or some logo thing or, or header that you found online and you thought, boy, doesn't that field of roses look really good? And you're in the automotive business. Go out and take pictures of your cars. On my fan page, this what this is back here is a television studio. Okay, and people recognize that. Okay, they recognize that as a television studio. And it's Carrie Miller TV. Carrie Miller TV is a place where we broadcast training. Okay? It's where we broadcast broadcast training. And, and, and on Carrie Miller TV, you're able to see all the things that you need to see. Okay? And you're able to get all the training and information that you need to get. If your screen is a little bit fuzzy, if you'll go to that little icon on the bottom side of the, uh, of the Hangout, it looks like a little gear. Google automatically adjusts for the lowest definition. If you'll just click on that and click on high definition, that clears that right up and you can see it perfectly. Okay. But you've got to brand yourself. So there I am at Carrie Miller TV. And that's my Facebook page. And my Facebook page is Carrie Miller TV. It's not some off the wall out there somewhere. And, and I can guarantee you, uh, Kathy probably says the same thing. Kathy will probably tell you that, you know what, when I come in and talk to you and I brand your business, we're gonna brand it all the same. If it's Lois's Beauty Shop, we're gonna get you Lois's Beauty Shop. Now, somebody may already have Lois's Beauty Shop, so it may be Lois's Beauty Shop, Commerce, Texas, but we're gonna brand it to you. We're gonna bring it to you and we're gonna make that happen. So you wanna make sure that you do that. Okay, you want to make sure that that happens. If it doesn't happen, then you're behind. You're behind the curve. Facebook is one of the number one places people go today. Okay, Google, YouTube, and Facebook. That's where people go. So you're getting off your butt and you're going to work. You're going to get your mobile system set up so that you can go out and make things happen. Okay. You're going to make sure that you're mobile ready and you're out there and everybody can get a hold of your digital business card. All right. Look, I, I, you know what's cool? I got people following me right now. Thank you. all I got people following me right now on Twitter. And so you want to make sure that everything you do is lined up. So you're going to get off your butt. You're going to get mobile ready. Okay. You're going to get mobile ready. You're going to get your mobile business cards. And if you're in the business and you want to do mobile business cards, I teach mobile business cards on our instant app wizard training on Wednesday nights. Uh, I, I teach everybody how to do that. Just come to instantappwizard.com forward slash live. And, and I will teach you how to build these. Okay. And I'll teach you how to sell these to other people. <laughs> you know, uh, I've sold, sold hundreds and hundreds of these little business cards. Uh, they're very lucrative. And uh, so you, so now you, you, you've got your mobile business cards going. You've got their mobile app built. Now you're going to get them social ready. So now your business has got to get social. Social via Facebook, social via Twitter, social via Instagram, social via LinkedIn, 
uh, social via YouTube. Those are the biggies. And you need to get those pages built and you need to get on it and you need to make it happen. Next thing you have to do is you have to start making sure that people know all about those things. And it all circles back around to number one, getting off your butt. If you have a Facebook fan page, I'm going to tell you right now, nobody knows about it. It's just like a web page. I've spent thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands. I wish I had all the money I had. I could probably be driving a, a Rolls Royce shadow right now. All the money I've spent on SEO that did absolutely nothing for me. You're on the front page for two days and it's gone. I would have been better off going out buying billboards and plastering my website around my local area, okay? Because that's the traffic I want. If you're selling dresses, unless you ship over, if you ship over the state line, if you ship to other cities, if you're shipping a product, if you're hitting your local market and that's your market and that's where you want to be, why in the hell would you want to SEO your site for the world? It doesn't make sense. You need to make sure it's SEO'd for the local area. If I type in dress shops and Google is local, Google knows where you're at, okay, via your IP address. Now, sometimes the IP addresses are a little bit off. But as you do your searches for your area, Google knows that and their algorithm starts saying, oh, this guy's in Commerce, Texas. This guy's in Commerce, Texas. So when you do searches, it starts bringing up the things in Commerce, Texas. Plus, if your site, your website, and your mobile site is SEO'd correctly, when they type in dress shops in Commerce, Texas, because I'm not going to Dallas to go dress shopping. I want to find dress shops in Commerce, Texas. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to look anywhere else unless I'm going to Dallas, and then I'll look up a specific dress shop in Dallas. If I'm looking for a restaurant, I'm not just going to type in restaurant commerce, uh, restaurants. It's going to give me restaurants everywhere. If I'm going to eat in a specific area and I want to, and I type in restaurants to see what's in that specific area, that's what I'm going to type in to search. You see, you narrow your searches down. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that everything you have is narrowed down to your area. Everything is narrowed down to your area. So, you get off your butt, you get mobile, you get social, now you get your SE going locally. Everything is built to go locally. You know, I don't know if you know this, and <clears throat> one of these nights I'm going to teach you. As a matter of fact, coming up, uh, if you come to the Saturday training, uh, some follow-on training from Saturday's training is going to teach you how to go out and locally uh, uh, do some marketing with Facebook right in your local area. Okay, where you literally target market your local area with Facebook, but and we'll talk about that on Saturday. But here you are, you've got everything going for you. Now, let's say that you own that dress shop, and there's three other dress shops in town. They go to my dress shop, they go to Susie's dress shop, and they go to Lois's dress shop. But I want them to come to Carrie's dress shop. If Lois and Susie are sitting on their butts and they're not out working and they're not letting everybody know that, hey, you know what? We're still here. I know Carrie is out every day. Carrie's out talking to every person in this town. And don't just talk to the wives. Talk to the husbands because the husbands got to come buy something for their wives, for their birthdays and for the anniversaries and for Valentine's Day and for those special occasions. So don't forget the men if you own a dress shop and you're watching this show. Okay. Remember that. Now, let's flip that tide for just a moment. What if you sell, what if you're a network marketer? Okay. And I know you can see from this live event. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm live. You can see me on this camera. Okay. You can see me sitting here and it's very obvious that I'm probably overweight. Matter of fact, I weigh about 225 pounds and I'm overweight. So, so let's not make no bones about it. I'm fat. All right. Now, if you were selling a weight loss program, let's say you have a multi-level marketing program, okay, or a network marketing. I know, I know network marketers don't like that term anymore, multi-level marketing. So a network marketing program or whatever it's called today, I was in networking for a long time, 
and uh, I love it. So I'm not I'm not anti network marketer or local mo mobile marketer. Okay. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. I'm going to get back to all this stuff in just a moment. <clears throat> but what you want to make sure that you do is is people have to know what you do. So even if you're a network marketer and you 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 you're doing diet pills or diet something, the wraps, you know, the the uh, the eucalyptus wraps or whatever they call them that 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 seem to work. Okay, no matter what it is. If you don't have it in you to go out and talk to people and tell them what you're doing, then you're not going to be successful. If you don't have something to share with them mobily so that they can watch your video on your product mobily, because most people aren't going to sit there and talk to you for 45 minutes about being overweight. But if you could share with them via your phone and say, Hey, I'm going to shoot my app over to you. What's your, what's your cell phone number? You get, you get their cell phone number and you send that app to them and it's got that video on there that either from your company or one that you set in your house and you took your phone and you produced yourself and you're able to share your product and your plan with that person at their convenience. I'm going to tell you now, you're going to be one of the top reps in your company. If your social media pages are set up and everybody, you see, this is what happens when people start looking they want to look at everything you have they want to make sure that everything lines up and when everything starts lining up guess what happens you start selling because now that person knows you they may not know you personally but they know you okay they 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 look at you as the the expert you are the person the go to person Okay, you are the person that that they go to. You're the person that is the expert. You're the person that they want to deal with. You're the person because you understand weight loss that they want to be a part of. They don't want to order something off TV and not have somebody right there helping them and, and watching for the next great trend that comes out or maybe the next exercise that helps you lose belly fat. Okay. So I don't care what it is, if it's a dress shop, a smoke shop, a towing shop, no matter what, okay, auto body, or if it's a diet pill or a diet wrap or something to make you healthy, a healthy drink, a healthy shake, no matter what the product is, you have to follow this formula. If you don't follow this formula, you're going you're gonna to nosedive. You know, so I have people ask me all the time, they say, Carrie, I was looking at this product or I was looking at this program. Do you think it will work? And I'm going to amaze you with my answer. Let me get a drink real quick. I'm going to amaze you with my answer. I truly believe that no matter what it is, if you can put a business plan to it, it will work. If someone has three emails that says you can send out these three emails, it will work. But here's the flip side of this, and this kills me in Facebook. I laugh. I, I literally, my Comedy Central is reading Facebook posts. And everybody says, I got this great product, but they don't tell you what it is. You got to ask them for it. And don't ask me why. I mean, the number one, <laughs> they think there's some scarcity there, you know. Oh, well, I'm going to hide this from you. You know what that tells me? It's a scam for one. If you're not willing to post it up there and post a website and send them to there and give them the information right then, you're about to scam somebody. And I know I'm fixing to tick off a bunch of Facebook marketers, but that's just the way it is. Why? Because I type in there every now and then, send me what you got because I'm dying to hear what it is. And it's always some BS, a bunch of junk that they've done, took a picture of something offline and made it look like they're making a billion dollars. Anybody can write a check and take a picture of it. Okay, anybody can do that. If you're running a legitimate business, and this just is just a fact, the first thing people look for is what a website. I know that sounds crazy, but that's how they legitimize your business is if you got a website. Secondly, they want to know: Do you have a phone number? Can I contact you? So if you're out selling a product, no matter what that product is, 
people want to be able to contact you. They want to be able to communicate with you. They want to be able to email you. They want to be able to talk to you. They want to be able to do all those things, okay? Why? Because that's what you're building your what on. That's what you're building your brand on. That's who you are now. That's who you're going to be. That's that's what you're going to do, okay? That's that's you. My brand is what? Carrie Miller TV. Carrie Miller TV. And, and, and that's what I'm building my brand around. I am Carrie Miller, okay? <laughs> that's just what it is. And, 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 and I am here to teach you and help you change your business forever. And you know what? Coming here and listening to me one, two, three hours a week isn't costing you a nickel. Now, if you pick up the phone and call me, it's going to cost you a dime. And the things that I share with you, if you will listen to me, if you will listen what I have to say, we'll start changing your business. I launched Carrie Miller TV about, somebody just asked, when did you launch Carrie Miller? Carrie Miller TV has been around officially about two weeks. I've been working on it for a while, but officially about two weeks. Uh, launching with these online shows. And uh, this is where my focus is now. This is where my... This is where I'm taking everything to is to carry Miller TV, all my training um, and everything. And then really that's what I do mostly is all training. Uh, I do a lot of training and, but, and that's my brand. And so I'm telling you, I can tell you just by the results I'm already having, branding yourself and branding your product and branding who you are works. That's why all my social media is set up like it is. That's, that's, that's what works and, and that's what you do and that's what you need to do as a business. So let me make this suggestion. Uh, I'm just launching the Carrie Miller TV brand. Okay. Uh, launch your brand with me and let's ride this journey together and let's build your business together and let's make sure that when everybody else, because they're freaking out about the economy. Okay. And things aren't sustainable. Let's make sure this, let's make sure that you're still up and running. Let's make sure your doors are still open and let's make sure that you are doing all the things you need to do to be successful. Get off your butt, go mobile, go social, go local. All right. So, so, so those four things right there is a great start for you and we'll get you where to go. Let me, uh, let me, we're getting ready to wrap up here, man. We went an hour and a half the other night. Uh, Let's see here. They should be sharing knowledge at meetup meet groups and there's always starving for presenters. That's right. Meetup groups are a great way to get out there and talk about your business and they are always looking for presenters. You know, everybody likes to go to meetups, but nobody likes to stand up and talk. <laughs> you know, those groups are always looking for somebody to talk. Meetups are a great way to get out there and meet new people and tell them about your business. And, and then you start sharing back and forth. It's a great networking community. And, and that's what you want to do. It's a meet and greet. I call it shaking hands and kissing babies. You know, it's no different than a politician. A politician gets elected because he's out shaking hands and kissing babies. You need to do the same thing in your business. You need to be a politician every day. You need to go out and shake hands and kiss them babies. And, and then you don't have to worry about the unemployment line and you don't have to worry about the unemployment check. All right. Uh, you may need to lower your bandwidth a little in the hangout. It's the cell phone like bars above you. I'm not sure. Kathy, kind of explain to me what you mean there, the bandwidth for the hangout. Uh, social is the new proof of credibility these days. That's where people check to see if you are a legit business. Absolutely. And they do go to social. <laughs> Somebody said, didn't know you shop for dresses. Uh, you know what? Actually, I do. <laughs> Actually, I shop for anything that makes the little lady happy. <laughs> <laughs> and she doesn't like flowers, so it's got to be clothes. Okay. So anyway, 
Um, make sure. I think I know what she's talking about here on the bandwidth. Let me go up here and, and, and roll that back just a little bit. Let's see if I can bring that down a little bit. Well, Kathy, it's not letting me for some reason. I'm in the control room here. Let me see. I'm not sure why it won't allow me to adjust the bandwidth down a little bit. But I will work on that. Here it is right here. Let me bring that down. There we go. I don't want to adjust it too low. All right, we'll see how that works. And I dropped the bandwidth on the uh, YouTube there a little bit and uh we'll see how that works and uh but uh let me go back over here to the question box any more questions before we start to wrap up this edition of ask a millionaire you know let me say this in closing as we as we get ready to, to, to wrap everything up here um uh, it's a pleasure and it, this has been one of the funnest weeks i've ever had is coming to you and sharing with you uh my thoughts and, and you sharing with me um, your your questions. And I'm going to answer just a couple of questions here in just one moment. Uh, but uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out before I answer questions. And uh, we're going to we're going to answer a few questions here and then we're going to wrap it up. Uh, Carrie, you say we need to get mobile and social. How do we do that? If you can't do it on your own, uh, give me a call. 903-366-2420. I'm in the Dallas area. Kathy, if you'll post your number in the South Texas area, I'll give them your number in the South Texas area. Uh, Kathy's in San Antonio, I believe. Um, now, I, I work all over the United States. Kathy may work all over the United States, too. But you're welcome to call me, 903-366-2420, and I'll be more than happy to help you get your social media set up and your mobile media set up. Um, that's what I do. Okay, that's my that's my number one priority in life, and I help businesses do that every day all over the country. Uh, when I say mobile and social, I mean your mobile web presence, okay, via mobile web apps, and your social media, your Facebook, your Twitter, uh, your Instagram, and those kind of things. And it's not hard to do, and if you can't do it on your own, just give me a call, 903-366-2420. Uh, and somebody just asked, where is Kathy at? Uh, Kathy, you're in San Antonio, I believe. Is that correct? Is that what you told me last night? Kathy's in San Antonio, San Antonio or Austin. But uh, I can promise you she would be more than happy to, uh, to help you in that area and probably outside of that area. The great thing about consulting is uh, um, – Yeah, it's probably this uh, this connection I've got tonight. Oh, that wasn't good. <laughs> I took it completely offline. But uh, yeah, I'm 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 on a uh, using somebody else's Wi-Fi tonight, and it's probably not as strong as mine at the house. But uh, anyway, that you know. Uh, that's what I mean by social local, and, and I believe Kathy is in San Antonio, I think. I'm pretty sure. Let me get rid of some of these questions here that I've already read off. And let me bring up the new ones here. But it's always a pleasure, man, and, and, and whatever you need, you know, come on, come each night. Like I say, next week I'll be involved in some trainings. Do not miss our training on Saturday. Okay, Kathy says, yes, she's in San Antonio, and she also works globally. She is a business coach, and her number is 210-306-7444, 7444, yeah. 
210-306-7444. She's in San Antonio. And um, she's been on every night this week. So, and I know she, uh, we, we talked about her, you know, going to the classes. She was in the, our training last night. Um, let me get, jump back over there and I'll, I'll share my trainings with you as we're in closing. If you want to come to our Wednesday night trainings, go to instantapwizard.com forward slash live. And my glasses drive me crazy. I broke. Uh, instantapwizard.com forward slash live. And if you want to come to Saturday's webinar, go to carrymotor.tv and register there. We've got a full house. There's a lot of people already registered. So we will be busy on Saturday at 8 o'clock. Uh, follow me on Facebook at Carrie TV, Facebook.com forward slash Carrie TV. And you can follow me on at Carrie Miller TV. Instagram at Carrie Miller TV. Uh, LinkedIn at Carrie Miller TV. Uh, all of them, maybe. And I'll be more than happy to follow you back. Um, so, with that said, let me see if there's any more questions here. Let me uh, just refresh here real quick and snag the old questions from the question box. I apologize. I accidentally just deleted some. <laughs> it went quicker than my, my mouse was clicking quicker than. Uh, uh, I'm just outside of Dallas, Texas. Somebody said, "Where are you at, Carrie?" I'm just outside of Dallas, Texas, and a uh, little town called Commerce, and it is a small town. I've been in the mobile app industry for three years. I went in it because I it helped me take uh, my roofing company to a new level with uh, lead generation. And I loved it so much, I got out of the roofing business and went into the app building business. And um, the, the greatest thing I ever did. Mm, let me see what this question is here. I, sometimes I have to read these questions a couple of times. I want to make sure I a answer them correctly. <laughs> when you get off your, when you say get off your butt, what do you mean specifically? I get up and go open my business every day and I work in my store and I go back out. This is what I mean by get off your butt. Okay. And I'm not, I'm not saying that, that, that the people that are watching aren't working hard. What I'm saying is, is get off your butt and start marketing your business and building your brand. Okay. There's one thing to get off your butt and go unlock the door and walk in the store and put some stock up on the shelf. But if nobody's coming in and buying that stock and you're just stocking shelves and your business is down, and if your business is good and great, that's awesome. But you still have to go out and you have to brand yourself and brand your business. Okay. So that people know you're there because what happens is, is businesses are like this. Your clientele gets older. They start dying off. Your clientele goes down. New, new people move in town, but new people move out of town. So you have to continually make sure that you're on the grow and on the go. All right. And the only way to do that is if people know you're there. I'll give you a prime example. In my little town that I live in now, downtown is completely dead. There's nothing downtown. Nothing. Okay. Uh, a couple of stores. Nothing downtown. And so what's happened is, is those businesses came in and went out. Why? Nobody knew they were there. It's great to open a store, but if you're not willing to get out and talk to everybody in this town and let them know, and we had a yogurt shop open up downtown. Of all things, a yogurt shop, and I didn't even know they were there until they closed. They were open such a short period of time. You know why? They opened that store expecting people to drive downtown and know they're there. If a downtown is dead and no one's down there except a couple of restaurants, you've got to make sure that people know that you're opening downtown. I mean, they opened up and closed so fast. I mean, it, it was amazing. And that's because I was talking to, the, talking to uh, uh, one of the politicians here in town. They said, you know what? They said they opened up, said nobody was coming in. They shut the doors. You know why they shut the doors? Because they sat there and waited for somebody to walk in that door. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Okay. So that's what I mean by get off your butt and, and make it happen. Okay. That's what I mean by that. Get off your butt and make it happen. All right. 
I'm not, I'm not degradating you for going into work every day. I know, you, I know you get up and go to work. I know you open the door and I know you walk inside the door, walk inside the door and, you, and you, you're doing things. But there's a whole big difference in being busy and being productive. Anybody can be busy. Everybody can be busy, okay? If, if I'm a network marketer and, I, and, I, and I'm reading, studying my product every day, I'm busy. But if I'm not bringing in reps and I'm not bringing and I'm not selling my product and I'm not getting people involved with my product, then being busy don't mean anything. I'm not productive. Production means you're doing something that has a return. So if you're productive, you have a return on the things that you do. If you're busy, you're not, you don't have a return. You're just doing something to pass time. So be productive. Okay. Be productive. Let me check here real quick. I, I don't want to miss any questions. Yeah, I, I know. Trust me, I know running a business is hard work. There's nothing any harder than running a business. You know, that's why a lot of people, they get in it and they get out and they go right back to work on the nine to five. People should join mastermind groups. They'll be 71% more likely to exceed their goals than those who don't. That's absolutely right. You know why you you know why that's the case? And and if you join a mastermind group, that means you're surrounded by people who have been there, who have done that, and who are smart. And they're not smart because they got a Harvard degree. They're smart because of hard knocks. Okay? That means they've been there. They've rode that coaster. They, they've been up to the highs and the lows. They've hit that proverbial wall, and uh, they're doing everything they can to make things happen. And, they, and you can learn a lot from those people, a whole lot. All right? Uh, yes, we will be live tomorrow night at eight o'clock. Absolutely, absolutely. And I send out an email and uh, just uh, just go in and uh, I'm, I think I'm going to start doing it a little bit different. Instead of having to register, I'm just going to send everybody to a live link. That way, they don't have to register every time. It's great collecting those leads, but if you're coming to the same show every night, all I need to do is send you a link. So instead, if you've already registered, you won't have to keep registering over and over and over. I will send you a link that will bring you into the live show. Okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, it has been a pleasure once again to come to you from this location and share with you Ask a Millionaire. I can do two things in my life. I can help you become productive, and I can help you get where you want to go if you'll listen. Okay? If you'll listen to what I got to say, I will help you get where you need to go and get you where you need to be. So I'm Carrie Miller. I am here each and every night this week. I'll be here again tomorrow night, two shows on Saturday. If you have not registered, make sure you go and register right at CarrieMiller.tv. Do not miss Saturday's webinar. It will be the most powerful webinar you've probably ever been on. Why? Because it's going to take you so far out of the box, it's going to blow your mind. Register at CarrieMiller.tv. And don't just you register. Invite all your friends and invite everybody you know to be on that webinar. Because what that webinar is about is not about building competition. It's about building your business and doing one little thing that can drive customers and drive your expertise through the roof. You know, people are looking for people who are experts in their field and in their niche. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So with that said, good night. It's been an absolute pleasure. The replay will be sent out very soon. God bless, and I will see you tomorrow night at 8 o'clock Central Time.